Hey, welcome to the Backyard Professor videos. I just received some breaking news in Mormonism that I think is extremely interesting in light of the SEC financial fiasco and the fining of the Mormon church for their fraudulent behavior with regards to their finances and the trouble, the serious trouble they're in. I suspect the rabbit hole goes deeper than we even know right now. And they're trying to pay the quick fine to get people to quit looking because they considered the matter closed. And of course, the rest of us do not. That's their method. So here is the breaking news. I get this from Mormon Stories podcast community. Just got this from our bishop. Now, last year, I would have thought this is a great way to show our devotion. But this year, I look at it saying, we don't want you to participate in stumbling across some truth that we don't want you to know about. See, with this new set of eyes, I'm seeing so much manipulation, and I honestly think they don't realize that's what it is. I just can't, and now I will sit down. So here is what this particular ward bishop said to his ward. Now, and I don't know if if it's him alone, or if he received it from the higher-ups, that would all be speculation, I agree. But this particular bishop, apparently in his ward, there is a lot of pushback on just what the Sam Hill is going on in the church. So here's what the bishop said. We, notice we, perhaps the bishopric, we challenge you to join us in a media fast stretching from sacrament meeting on the 5th until we meet for ward conference. Avoid voices from the world by temporarily avoiding all movies, TVs, shows, YouTube, and other streaming services, social media, video, computer games, and news sites. Wow. Invite the voice of the Lord into your life more by connecting with him through extra scripture study, prayer, and listening to the voices of the modern prophets and apostles. Please also use this time to directly connect with family, friends, and neighbors as you show the Lord that you're willing to sacrifice to hear his voice, you will find direction to face the problems you're facing, and your family will be strengthened and nourished. So in other words, he's saying, man, I don't have the answers, and you need to quit asking me. And for Pete's sake, just stop seeing what's happening and go back to looking only at the apostles and prophets. And please just read the church approved sources. Quit reading all the social media. They have no answers, in other words, because the church has been fined. It is its fraudulent behavior that has caused them their problems with their finances. So their behavior, their ethics, their hypocrisy in their teaching is now coming back. And these poor bishops, and I would imagine state presidents, are becoming overwhelmed with the issue of how did the church end up becoming so fraudulent in their behavior toward not only us, but the rest of the world? So this is very interesting. Like I've said before, general conference this year, it's going to be utterly fantastic in light of this SEC ruling and finding of the Mormon church, which the Mormon church agreed to do. The leadership is on trial, folks. Not us. This one's on them. If it were possible, Matthew 24, I believe it says, even the very elect will be deceived. So we get to see now this coming up general conference in the voting, who sustains and who opposes. We get to see who in the leadership has the actual integrity to do the right thing. Or are they all in on the fraudulent behavior of deception for the filthy lucre? 
because Jesus, whom they claim to follow, and that this isn't me, this is Jesus. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying. Jesus said, you cannot follow God and mammon. It's one or the other. It's not my setup. So I'm just pointing that out. So that is the breaking news. The church, at least on this particular local level, is getting very, very nervous, it appears to me. And of course, they can't refute it because the church paid the fine. So now they have to answer it and they have no answers. So you know the local level is beginning to go to the higher level. How do we handle this? Very interesting. Well, that's my breaking news. You guys have a good day. I will catch up more with you. I have more to say on the SEC fine in up and coming shorts. So I will see you soon.